field and we're looking at the height of the corn and how big the stalks are and where we are in the um, pollination process. So this, this stalk or this corn crop basically have pollinated out probably about a week ago. From the, so from the time these are out fully like this and they will start pollinating the silks on the cobs as they start developing. Each one of these um, tassels or silks is attached basically to a kernel and as soon as the pollen makes contact with it then that basically pollinates that kernel and then it starts to develop. So the very last silks coming out are the ones that are on the tip of the corn as well. With the amount of moisture we've had this year and the, the amount of heat and sunshine we've had, it's been absolutely ideal conditions. So if you look at the corn already, we're, we're in excess of 10 feet. It's probably gonna grow another foot or two tall. These cobs are just starting to, to fill out now as well. And because of the moisture we've had there, we've had ideal conditions for that. So we're gonna get a great big cob on there as well. So if you look at this corn crop, it's almost like a wall. It's gonna be all of maybe 25 ton to the acre. So we have an enormous corn crop coming in. And my big concern is that a lot of people really have got to look at their bunker storage space to make sure they have enough. Whether you get cement blocks ordered up to make extra room for it, because we're going to fill these bunkers up absolutely full. This is the best crop I've seen probably in 25 years. And now with the heat coming, it's not too hot, it's not too cool. It's just ideal conditions for pollination and filling the cobs out. So a couple things you've got to be concerned about now. So if you look at the tassels now and they're just pollinating, add 45 days on from that and these cobs will be at 50% milk line. So if you look at this guys, you add 45 days on, it's around the uh, 25th of July. So basically this corn is going to be ready to go somewhere around the first to the second week of September. So it doesn't matter whether it's 2300 heat units or 2600, when that tassel comes out and, it, and it's fully open, and the pollination start, it's about 45 days. So, so basically, it's almost like a warning gun. So 45 days from now, this corn's gonna be ready. So that gives you 45 days to get your storage space all lined up. Then you have to start looking at the harvesters as well too, to making sure you have a new shear bar, to making sure the processor as well too, that the bearings are all in great shape as well, because we have an enormous crop coming through and it's all got to go through the processor. So we've got to make sure the bearings are good too. If your processor is two or three years old, phone your dealer up, get them to come take a look, check the bearings out to make sure good, make sure the rollers are in good shape and make sure the shear bar by all means is in great shape. Because the shear bar basically is where it comes in contact with the knives. If that shear bar is rounded. I had one guy last year say, well, I put a new shear bar in at the start of the season, but he's cut three crops of grass and there's dust and a little bit of sand in there. That shear bar is now rounded off. So you have to turn it over again and get a clean face when you start harvesting the corn. That alone will save you probably 10 to 15 percent on your fuel and you get a much cleaner cut in the corn with a lot less horsepower taken to cut that same corn crop. So again, do your checks on everything. Make sure you, um, you figure how, many, how much space you have in the bunkers. Make sure your processors are all ready to go and then by all means, make sure you get a new shear bar or you flip the shear bar over before you start cutting. So harvest is going to start around the 10th of September to about the 20th. So take a look at your corn crop and then we'll figure out where we go from there. <music>